Jesus. In the rich name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
right now, the doors are always open. We hope that you feel at home while you're here, and we do hope that you do come again with anyone like the people. Okay. Okay. graduation of Michaela Williams, May 18th, 8.30 a.m. at Pete Maravich Assembly Center, 155 North Stadium Road, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 25 or 24. Fire rehearsals every month, first Thursday at 6 o'clock p.m. Senior Park, second and third Thursday at 6.15 p.m. The Young Adult Choir. Fourth Saturday, 10 o'clock a.m., the Youth Choir. Every fourth Sunday, church is Polo Shirt Sunday. And Bible study every Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. And please don't forget Monday morning prayer at 9 o'clock in Brooklyn Forum. And Sunday school every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. And men's meeting every fourth Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Building champions across the globe. To the community, church, family, and friends. We are excited to get a new recreational activity in progress called Louisiana Prospect of Donaldson Dill Flag Surround Football League. This will be the start of a summer program within the Donaldson Dill community and surrounding areas. West Ascension Sports Program will provide co-ed league for kids between the ages of 7 to 14, where they will be taught the basic fundamentals of football. We will provide a family fun and competitive atmosphere for our children. We will teach offensive and defensive skills, as well as the values of sportsmanship and hard work. We have established plans to secure safety for ourselves and our children. The registration began on Monday, April 22nd through May 20th, 24, and every Monday through Thursday, registration forms are available at the City of Donaldsonville City Hall, 609 Railroad Avenue in Donaldsonville, from 10 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Also, you can contact Coach Jerry C. Butler at 225-445-0134 or Coach Reverend Alvin Thomas, Jr. at 225-323-6607. All practice will be held on the grounds of Lower Middle School Park Avenue at 613 West 7th Street, Donaldsonville. Please sign your kids up today. We look forward to a great season, and as always, please feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Coach Jerry Butler, West Ascension Recreation <coughs> Coach Jerry C. Butler, President. Twenty twenty four season, Louisa Prospects of Donaldson Mill Flag Football League for girls and boys, grades mm -hmm. ages seven to fourteen. League information, dates of play, practice times will vary. 
5.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Tuesdays and Thursday evenings with great, with great games, typically Saturday and Sunday with Monday as a backup if needed. Game times are 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Season will run from May 20th to June 20th, subject to change. Deadline is May 20th. More in full contact. Coach J. Butler, 225-445-0134. Or Coach Alvin Thomas, 225-323-6602. Thank you. Those are our announcements. It's time for our young people to come here and help us to make some more work for us to
for verse 13 and 14, you don't mind standing. If Bob is the, uh, I didn't say happy Father's Day, but I said happy Mother's Day. <laughs> praise the Lord. Give God some praise for the <laughs> Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I give, him shall never thirst. But the water that I give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into the everlasting life. You may be seated in the presence of God for a few moments. We feel. We feel. Brothers and sisters, people of God, we all crave. Thirst after riches, pleasures, worldly fame, but nothing seems to fill the void and emptiness of the soul. Yes. The soul and the spirit outside of Christ is separation from God. And we will never be satisfied completely. But here we see the compassion and the concern of Jesus for just one sin. The text seen there was a thirsty Samaritan woman who needed Jesus and didn't even know it. And I'm glad this morning that he was willing to go to Samaria to speak to this half-breed sinful woman. Usually, the Jews took a much longer route to avoid this area, to avoid coming in contact with Samaritans. But glory to God this morning, Jesus is not biased. Jesus is not prejudiced. And there's no exception to the rule. And we sit here today, but there's too much hate in the world. Yes. There's too much hate in the home. Yes. There's too much hate in the church. Yes. And the Jews was Christian folks. There's too much bias and prejudice among Christian folks. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't with me this morning. Right Christ came to seek and save the lost. Yes. In the conclusion of life itself, the world doesn't need a physician. Come on. Prayer should be, Lord, bless me. Yes. So I can bless somebody else. Yes. All right. Who oh, had mercy on me. Yes, Let me have mercy Amen. on somebody else. Yes, yes, sir. Lord. yes, sir. Lord, you saved me. Yes, Lord. Let me witness to somebody else. All right. Yes, we say the church is a hospital for sinners, yeah, but it's a rehab for backsliders. Right. Come on, Ray. Right. 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 And I'm glad this morning God's still working on me. Yeah. Yeah. Been through some things, had some false faults and plans, but I'm still under rehabilitation. Yeah. Yeah. Been knocked down, beat down, let down, but I'm still under Rehabilitation. Why, church? Because God still loves me. Anybody happy this morning? God still loves me. See, I ain't nobody who never made no mistake or never did nothing. To know that God still loves me. The Bible said Jesus needed to go through Samaria. Uh -huh. And we can praise God for divine appointment and the word of destiny. All right. What's the destiny in the word of divine appointment? God always show up 
It shows our yes, 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 Our Lord decided to take the shorter rope to this tired and weary, from his tired and weary journey, he stopped to rest at Jacob's well. Uh -huh. Now the Bible says the disciples was at Butcher Boy looking to buy some meat. Come on. And, 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 and there was a reason why they was gone. All right. Because sometimes the disciples don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the disciples lose a heart of compassion. Yeah. Sometimes the disciples don't know what to say or when to pray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Master, well, your disciples could not get this one out. Why could this? This kind only comes by praying in faith. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. See, the disciples look at the person, not the need. Come on. See, God sees the need. Yeah. He arrives at Jacob's well exactly at 6 o'clock. This was an unusual time for women to come and get water. Uh huh. Isn't it amazing how Jesus shows up when we need him the most? Anybody like to testify? Jesus is the one who shows up when we need him the most? Yeah. Where we need in the world. I'm happy this morning. Not only know where I'm struggling with, he knows what I'm struggling with. Yeah. Where I'm struggling with. It. Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, I'm gonna be happy. He's never late. Uh -uh. He's never late. No. It's always on time. On time. Go ahead with me. May not come when you want it. Yeah. But he's always on time. On time. What I love about it, how he shows up unexpectedly. Yes, sir. Showed up at the wedding when he ran out of wine. Yes. Showed up and fed the 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. Uh -huh. Showed up at the sea with the disciples and they couldn't catch no fish. Yes, sir. Told them to throw their net on the right side of the boat. Yeah. And that's the word of destiny for you in here today. Sometimes you got to get on the right side. Oh. And God will show up. Anybody this morning brought a Mother's Day revival shout? <laughs> that expecting a breakthrough. All right. And again, looking for God to show up. Yes, sir. How God show up. When you're expecting a breakthrough, uh -huh. you don't sit down on your prayer. No, you don't. You don't wait for the preacher to hit a high note. No. You don't wait for the choir to sing your voices, folks. No. If the Lord brought you here this morning, yeah. you still have a expectation of prayer. Jesus is good. 
still restore yeah. Yeah. and he still refill. Anybody yeah. need a refill? Yeah. 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 The one that had the well, uh -huh. Jesus would save any sinner that repent and receive him as Lord and Savior. Yeah. And we pray to God today. Hallelujah. Because God still saving so. Yes, he is. I said we pray to God today. Girl. 
spiritual power. Well, you live in power. Yeah. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Come on, come on, come She understood the process of drinking water, that the, the living water flows from springs and creeks. Living water is an inflow. Then it flows out. Take my time on purpose. Go ahead. Living water inflow. Uh -huh. And then flows out. Yeah. And you need something to draw deep to get the best water, the refreshing water, the refilling water. Go ahead. You need the Holy Spirit in your life. Yeah. You need something working on the inside. That's going to show up on the outside. And let the world know that you can change. You need something that's going to change your conversation. That's going to change your walk. That's going to change your mindset. It has to work on the inside. Jeremiah seems like fire. Shut up, my goodness. And I just can't. Yeah. Come on. My, my, my. Living water uh -huh. is of God. Well. Living water. Is alive. Yeah. Living water from God is inflowing, outflowing. Yes. Lord. It's on the inside. Yes. Fresh oil, fresh anointing. Yeah. The Lord leads me beside still water. He restores my soul. Calm and refreshing. Yes. Cool and restoring. He is Jehovah Rapha. I am the Lord who heals thee. Yeah. Living water. Quenches physical thirst and restores spiritual thirst. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, yeah. out of the belly shall flow rivers of living water. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. What I love about Jesus, I'm almost done. What I love about Jesus, he offered a more high quality well of water. He offers the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. who quenches spiritual thirst, gives eternal life, yeah. and spiritual empowerment. Yeah. He satisfies thirsty expectation. Jesus says, blessed are they who hunger and thirst at the righteousness. Uh -huh. They shall be filled. Yeah. When I learn, not only can he fill, but he can refill. Yeah. And where we go. He's got it in control. Yes. Now how far we go down, he still got it in control. Uh -huh. No matter how far we get from, he still got it in control. All right, now. No matter how we have lost our way, yes. he still got it under control. Oh, yeah. No matter what's hurting us, he still got it under control. Yeah. No matter what's alienating us, uh -huh. he still have it under control. Yeah. No matter how bad your mind gets, yeah. you still got it under control. Yeah. All you have to do is ask him, Lord, feel me. Fill me up. Fill me up. I want to be refilled. Uh -huh. Jesus filled the expecting souls. If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. The question is, are you thirsty this morning? Come on, Rev. Are you tired? Are you tired of living the same old way? Come on. Are you tired of experiencing the same old thing? Are you tired of going through the motion? Yeah. Do you want to be refilled? Come on. Do you want to have spiritual power? Do you want markets to move? Do you want to run devils away? Do you want to take the demons off? Do you want to ask the Lord to breathe? Yeah. To come to a close. Uh huh. God loves a spirit of expectation. Help me hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Love a spirit of expectation. Come on. The woman with the issue of blood. Mm. She had a spirit of of expectation. Did all she had, spent all she had, but she heard Jesus was coming to town. Yeah. The blind man by the wayside yeah. heard that Jesus was coming to town. Yeah. He had a spirit of expectation. Yeah. He laid your hands on him. Uh 
Come on. The woman bit for 18 years. Oh. Had a spirit of expectation. Yeah. Have you any rivers? Yeah. That seem uncrossable. Come on. Have you any mountains? Yeah. A scene that you can't turn up to. Come on. God specialized. He specialized. He specialized in things that seem impossible. Yeah. God bless expectations. Yeah. You came expecting God to do something. Uh huh. To bless you with something. Yeah. To bless you with great. Yeah. But I want to know what you're going to do about it. Yeah. She wanted better. The thirsty Samaritan woman came with an empty water pot, but she left with a saved soul. Come on, man. Jesus refilling power delivered her from five husbands and one bartender. Yeah. Jesus satisfies our thirsty expectations. Yes, he does. Y'all don't really understand that. She really had a lustful spirit. Yeah. God healed her lustful spirit. Come on. And he gave her his Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine, as I come to a close, uh -huh. this Samaritan woman left her water pot. Yeah. That's how I know she was full. She was not worried about physical water no more. No. She took off because she had something way better. Yeah. She took off running. Yeah. And look what she did. She didn't stop to go get the boyfriends. Oh, no. Her husband said, I'm better. She went in the town. Uh -huh. And she told them, come see. Come see me. Yeah.
Thursday man. Upon the strength of that powerful presence, we feel the noise of the church is now open. Through their lives, Lord. We know you're able to do all things 
things itself fail. So we pray that you bless them day, this day, and every day that follows. We know this day has been a, set aside for the representation of Mother's Day. But we know that every day is Mother's Day. Because without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we thank you for the ones that's passed, the present mothers, and the future mothers, Lord. We just pray that you would just continue to do what only you can do. We thank you, we love you, we praise you. We ask these blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you, Tracy. Amen again. From the living water that flows in us to the baptism water. We have witnessed some great things on this earth. And we can truly say it was good to have been here. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Give God some praise.
children of the church. We say, Happy Mother Day are those a small token. And like we say, without you, where will we be in our way to the So God bless you.
good suggestion. Where the oldest mother in the church um, stand? The oldest mother. That's Sister Taylor? Yeah, I'm you're right there. Yeah. You're right there. You sure it's Scott? Yeah. 95. 95 on you, Ms. 20. <laughs> 92. We got Miss Shirley Scott, 95. Mr. Lewis, how are you? 85. Yes, Lord. Oh, God is good. That's a good one in the morning. That's a good one in the morning. Come on, Mr. Good morning, good morning. Please, 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 please